Welcome to doTERRA in the lab. So what do a thousand balloons have to do with essential oils? Stick around to find out. Have you ever wondered just how much plant material it takes to make one bottle of essential oil? Well, it depends on the plant. Plants store their essential oils in tiny sacks. Different plants have different numbers of sacks and different amounts of oil in the sacks that they store. But remember, these sacks are microscopic. So when you're looking at a bottle of essential oil, it's going to take a lot of those tiny sacks to make one bottle. We're talking a lot of plant material in this concentrated piece. That's right. So we've prepared a visual representation to help you understand just how much it takes. For example, this is clove, one of our highest yielding essential oils. If we had one balloon full of plant material to make one bottle of essential oil, how many balloons do you think it would take to make some of our other essential oils? This is cardamom. Cedarwood, five balloons. Floral oils, like ylang ylang, take a lot more. In this case, it's nine balloons. Get a load of wintergreen. And, and this, this is rose. rose. It takes over 950 balloons worth of plant material just to make a single 5 ml bottle. That's why it's so rare and precious and why it's not available all the time. Can you imagine how many roses these balloons mean? Rose isn't the only essential oil that needs this much plant material. Melissa and helichrysum are also very rare and very concentrated essential oils. So next time you're reaching for a bottle of doTERRA essential oil, remember, this is what literally makes it a gift of the earth. 